It's called Screen on the Green, and this first-time attraction is a must-see during Saturday's What If Festival. Does this have anything to do with a green screen? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. Craig Coffee, more on what many families will be talking about. Thank you so much. We're back here with the Imagination Celebration of the Imagination Space, getting all set for tomorrow's big What If Festival downtown. You don't want to miss something for everyone. Also, your chance to get a little culturefied here in the Springs. With us right now is Nathan Newbro from the Philharmonic and telling us what you've got going on. Sounds like a pretty cool day. Oh, yeah. We're, we're participating in two important ways. From 2.30 in the afternoon to 5 p.m., we've got a live rehearsal of the Philharmonic. It's the, it's the be behind the scenes. It's the inside baseball that you'll never get if you just go to a concert. So we'll, we're inviting the public out to come see the rehearsal. They can sign up there and come in and see a bit of the rehearsal and in progress. But the most important thing, at 8 p.m. that night, we've got Screen on the Green. The orchestra will perform of course, it's opening night concert that night, big opening night. But on the lawn, we're inviting the entire community to come out. We're setting up a massive projection screen on the lawn. They can see the, the concert live in simulcast during, uh, during the actual performance. So they can come out, sit on the lawn, bring a lawn chair, bring their dinner, and, uh, and see the orchestra's opening night for free. Now, this is pretty cool. It's right outside the Pikes Peak Center, right there downtown. So plenty of space. It should, the weather, I believe, should be good. Oh yeah, right. But this is the night to come. It's never happening again, as far as I know. So this is the only this time is it. it's happening. Yes. Rain or shine. You got to come Saturday at 8 p.m. Okay. And yeah, the cool part too. Everything it's for free. It's absolutely free. We're inviting the entire community out. We l we love our sponsors who made it possible, and the musicians of the Philharmonic who so graciously uh, helped make it possible. So this is very exciting for the entire community. What do you think people might not know about the Philharmonic that might? kind of pique their interest? Oh, yeah. well, this is an extremely powerful concert. It's all Italian music, very, very accessible and very, very uh, beautiful night. Um, but th what they might not know is that the Philharmonic's for everyone. It's not just for those who might come see us in concert, but it's for the entire community. We're here to make this community a better place to live, a more creative place, a more vibrant place to live. So that helps business. It helps the economy. Um, so the arts make a huge impact here. Very in the community. nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, good for the kids. Families, come on down, get them started young, right? Right? Absolutely. Appreciate the classics and culturifying. That's what it's all about. Thanks a lot, Nathan. Okay. Hey, tomorrow, downtown, what a festival. Do not miss. Back to you guys. Culturifying. Yeah. I like that. I it's like new it word. too. It's it is a Good He's stuff. A smart guy. 629. <laughs> now, remember, you can listen to Fox 21 Morning News live even in your car by tuning into Real Radio 1580. I want to go that far. All right. Still to come, <laughs> yeah. USA Today is celebrating a milestone.